think safety is important. Safety is critical. Okay? The old expression, the operation was a success, but the patient died. You did a perfect lab, but you lost your eyesight. Get it? Understood? Okay. So if you can do this problem behind me, you can do stoichiometry. You are brilliant with stoichiometry. You may have to learn some of the vocabulary, how the book puts it into words, the tests, you know, some, you know, you have to do some fine tuning, of course. The outline should do that for you. Just the process of doing the outline that you bring and use on your test, right? But this is important. So let's start right away, okay? Right. Here I want to put the molar masses, okay? What's the molar mass of N2? 28. Should I make it blue? I'll do it blue. I'm already making it a mess. Okay, blue. So this is, this is 28. What's H2? 2. And ammonia is? 17. Right now. Now you've got to put these in. What's this going to be? 28, 6, 34. Get it? Conservation of mass, 28 plus 6 equals 34. Clear? Okay. Now, you got to do the mass for each one. Well, the mass for this one is easy. It's going to be 86. Right? Yes? Now we want to do the mass for this. I'm going to use this space here as my workspace. Okay, so it says this compared to this, right? That's my, that's my constant ratio. Dalton's law. Yes? Yes? Okay. So it says, it says, sorry, let me leave it down like that, I guess, right? So it says uh, 3H2 over N2 equals 6 over 28 equals what? Equals what? 86 over x. Can you guys get out your calculator so we can do this in less than two days? Yes? You have all of this, cal you have enough calculating ability to go to the moon or Jupiter even back in the old days out of the solar system. Okay, so what's the answer? Come on, guys. What's the answer? This was given. I'm going to circle the given one. That was given. Okay, what's the answer? Come on, guys. 86 times 28 divided by 6. 401? All right. All right, 401.3? Is it okay if we just round to one's place wherever we can? Okay, is that okay? So 403. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. And then what would this be? Do it the easy way. Do it the easy way. Don't set up another proportion. Do it the easy way. If I know this and I know this, what must this be? Guys, I know that you're not a very verbal class. I know that. The only verbal one in here is Baslin. Okay, and he's Jordanian, okay, and he speaks with a heavy accent, but he's still very verbal. Don't be afraid, even though if you don't know English really well, okay, don't be afraid to speak. I don't care. You should hear me speak Spanish. I sound like, I don't know, terrible. Tarzan. Peor. Peor te que Tarzan. Okay? So, please, I know that you're not verbal, but at least I shake the heads, you know? Okay, Laura? I know that your first language is not English. So what's the answer? Come on, guys. 489. Where do you get 487, Mr. Verbal? You asked them. You, even if you rounded it, it wouldn't be still. That'd be 403.3, right? 403.3 plus 86. 
Where do you get 40? I'm really confused. So isn't this simply going to be 489? Did I round it incorrectly? What did you say, 401.3? Yes. yes. My apologies. Dyslexic, I know. Terrible. So that's going to be what? What's that going to be, Basil? I like that. You fought for that. I like that. I like that, Basil. I like that. 401? 480 what? Okay. Yes? You get it? And people are trying to, like, you know, tell you how you're wrong. I like that, though. You stuck up, stuck up for it. Excellent. So now what's the volume? Why don't we do, we have to do moles first. Don't we have to do this column first? Right? Yes? How many moles does this represent? How many moles does this represent? You don't use this value here, right? You need the number of moles. In other words, 401, 401, not 401, 401 grams of nitrogen represents how many moles? 14. Is that what it says? Yes, Do we have a verification on that? I like a verification. Nobody else? All this calculating ability? You, no one else has the wherewithal to say 401 divided by 28? No one can do that? Did you just chastise me? Okay. 14, right? All right. Let's do this whole column. 86 divided by 2. 43. 487 divided by 17. Do you see why I'm dividing it by 17 and 2 and 28? You see that? Think about it conceptually. This represents a mole, doesn't it? Molar mass. One mole, right? So how many moles can I divide into there? How many moles are there, right? Do you get it? Yes? Okay. 29. What is this? 29. 29. Now, wait a second. Let me, get, let me get this straight. Hold on. Hold it. 14 plus 43, does that equal 29? No. Is that right? The moles aren't conserved. Is that, is that true? No, I got 28.6. Oh, that'll really change the balance. <laughs> Fight me. Fight me. Argue with me, Armindo. Come on, Mr. Angola. Let's go. Come on. Throw the first punch, man. Let's do it. Fight me. Argue with me. What? Come on. Basil and coach him. Okay? Basil could knock me out. I'm telling you. He's good. Basil, is it, is it conserved or not? No. It's, no. Why? Why wouldn't the moles be conserved? Because a mole is just a, is just a number. It's just a number. It's a count. It's, a, it's called, actually called a count. C O U N T. It's a count. In other words, that's all this is. In other words, these are these are only made of two two atoms, right? This one's made of four atoms. Plus, I have two of them. Yes. You get that? Yeah. So it's it's different. You get it? I mean, this is one mole plus two moles, right? Correct. And that's two moles. So you can see right by the stoichiometric equation, your argument could simply be, well, Mr. Mr. Darcy, fathead, you could call me, you say, look, look at the stoichiometric equation. It says one mole and two moles, and that equals two moles. That's four moles equals two moles. So if it's, gonna, if it's supposed to be conserved, why didn't you make it conserved when you balanced the equation? Right? You get it? Yes or no? Yeah. The, the law is, you ready? Listen carefully to my words. The law of the conservation of mass. Okay? Yes? Okay. Let's do this one, then we're done. Okay? So, 
What's the volume of one mole? What did you say? Did you just read that off your outline? You remembered it. Excellent. Well done. Excellent. There you go. I like it. Yeah. 22.4. So if you have two moles, it would be what? 44.8, right? If you have 10 moles, it would be what? 224, right? But if you have 14 moles, how much would it be? How much? Mohammed? You just answered a question? Mohammed, I like it. Well done, big guy. 314, is that what you said? Excellent. And how about this one? 43 times 22.4. Go ahead, Kennedy. What is it? 963. And what's this one? 650? That's all the stoichiometry chapter is. Understanding the relationship among these values in regards to this equation. What is this equation called? It's called the what? A complete balanced formula equation. Okay. What else is it called? Okay, a combination reaction. It's a combination reaction. But if I wanted to put a name to this equation, to that, not the chemical reaction that it represents, that's not what I'm asking you, but thank you. That was good. Excellent. There's no such thing as a wrong answer. It's simply part of a whole. Yes? Remember I said at the beginning of the year, it would be awfully burdensome for me as a student, looking back, to feel responsible for the complete answer to a chemistry equation, Laura, right? Wouldn't you? I mean, gosh. Right? You get it? So a part is good. Just a part. Just a piece is fine. So, <clears throat> what's the name of the chapter, chapter 12? What's the name of it? Or what's one word that describes the chapter? What is it? Okay. What else? Stoichiometry, right. Yeah, excellent. So let me give you, all right, now, now you have context clues. What kind of reaction is this? What kind of equation is this? It's a, yeah, it's a, Okay, you get it? All right, are we done? Chart one, I'm gonna do this for every class after the test, so you're gonna have three charts to, to look at. Try to, you know, do it yourself. Erase everything, or get a new piece of paper, and do it all, do it yourself. Pick, pick a different starting quantity. Not here, those are just the molar masses, but like here, just take one starting quantity, and this equation, and you can do everything. See how powerful a stoichiometric equation is? It's very, 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 very powerful. I'm telling you, with a balanced stoichiometric equation and a blank periodic table, you can do most of chemistry. It's amazing, really, up to this point. You can do most of chemistry up to this point. It's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It really is. It really is. The names are irreverent, irreverent, irrelevant, okay? In September, do the teachers know all your names? Do you still learn? Of course. Let me break. All right? End of movie. Okay.